Good morning and welcome back to Mirror Lake. Today I'd like to discuss headless mode a little more in detail and how it may be useful for beginners as they learn how to fly. Now as a beginner, if you're learning to fly, and we're, this is applicable to Mode 2 controllers, um, this discussion, most beginners learn to fly by first learning how to hover. Uh, that involves placing the quadcopter in front of themselves and learning pitch and roll commands and throttle commands, pitch and roll to maintain position and throttle commands to maintain elevation. Uh, yaw is not used in the early stages of learning to fly because it tends to confuse uh, beginners. Uh, if they accidentally apply yaw while they're in hover, they can quickly lose orientation and crash the quadcopter. Um, after they learn to hover, the next thing, the step that they learn normally is how to apply that yaw and coordinate it with throttle movement on the quadcopter. Since uh, for a Mode 2 controller, throttle and yaw are both on the same stick, on the left side stick. And finally, uh, for a beginner, the thir third thing that the beginner learns to fly after they learn those first two is helicopter translation or quadcopter translational flight. And that's normally just forward and back movement of the quadcopter and trying to maintain. Uh, elevation on the quadcopter while doing forward and back movement. But again, a problem occurs if they accidentally bump the yaw, they start to lose orientation on the quadcopter. But with headless mode, all those problems are negated. Um, I'm going to demonstrate here. I got the quadcopter on the ground and I'm going to try to use my uh, controller camera. I hope it's coming through and turn it on the quadcopter to bind it. Return it on the transmitter to bind it. Now, I'm standing behind the quadcopter while I activate headless mode. And the area that I want to fly in is directly in front of me. We're going to maintain that throughout this uh, demonstration video. Activating headless mode by holding down the right button. Now, again, I mentioned beginners normally learn hovering. And that's to use left and right movement. Now, again, I mentioned the problem if they accidentally bump the yaw, a beginner would normally lose orientation, but while I'm in headless mode, forward and back remain the same. There's no change. And left and right also remain, remains the same. Let me turn it that way and, and demonstrate. See? Forward, back, left, right. There's no change. So a beginner can actually practice with headless mode activated as long as they orient it, the uh, back end of the quadcopter before towards them when they activate at the headless mode and they can actually fly for extended period without crashing as long as they keep the headless mode turned on. Now the next thing I mentioned was that beginners next le must learn how to apply yaw while maintaining elevation with the throttle. If I'm in headless mode there's no problem applying that yaw because it's not going to have any effect on the uh, movement of the quadcopter translationally. So they can actually learn applying throttle and yaw much more easily while headless mode is activated. And finally, uh, I mentioned that the third thing that beginners normally learn is translational movement. And normally that's forward and back movement while applying throttle. But again, a problem arises in normally, if they accidentally bump the, uh, the yaw, it would normally throw it off course. But with headless mode activated, there's no effect. In fact, <laughs> here I am doing pirouettes while going forward and back. So headless mode negates all effects of yaw on translational movement of the quadcopter. It's always maintained uh, relative to the position that it was that the quadcopter was uh, facing when the uh, headless mode was activated. Now a fourth thing that this might come in handy for is night flying. If you have oriented the back end of the quadcopter toward you and you picked your area where you want to fly at night, you can actually fly fly around just by using pitch and roll commands. Just keep make sure to keep that quadcopter in front of you, but using pitch and roll commands at night and not lose orientation on your quadcopter. 
it's very easy to do with <laughs> I went into uh, vortex ring state there let's get back to it but it's very easy to do if you're in headless mode night flying great little quadcopter for night flying let me go to 20% mode <laughs> I don't know what that's about. I'm coming out of headless mode. It doesn't seem like that. Oh, I see what the problem is. The, the battery was out of whack. Going back into headless mode. Again, headless mode is great for night flying. There's no problem maintaining orientation at night if you activated it properly with the back end toward you and actually it makes for pretty cool night flying because you can rotate the quadcopter while you're flying at night.